What is up, Dinesh here, and today I want to talk about something different than usually on this topic. Today I want to talk about BCIs or Brain Computer Interfaces. So how can BCIs play a role in XR, because that's the mission of this channel of course, bring you forward in XR, and are we with the help of BCIs already capable of a full dive, so like a Sword Art Online or Matrix experience. But first of all, welcome to this channel. If you are new here, then this channel is all about helping you to grow in the AR, VR field. So we will have tutorials, tech tutorials, of course, kind of Q&A questions, so if, what do you want to know? And we will talk about topics like this, where we will discover cutting edge technologies, such as brain computer interfaces. So if you like content like this, then of course, as always, feel free to subscribe. And let's get started with the video. So what even are BCIs and how do they work? So BCI stands for Brain Computer Interface and as the name says already, it connects your brain to your computer, smartphone, whatever. And yeah, enables a lot of possibilities. Your brain cells or yeah, neurons communicate with each other by sending and receiving very, very, very small amounts of electrical signals which can also be described as brain activity. And your BCI device, and there are multiple types of those, we will cover some of those here, and they basically capture the signals that your brain sends, interprets them, and then you can communicate with anything which is um, yeah, connected to that computer the BCI sends the data to. So you can control, I don't know, your television, you can um, go to the internet, and all of that stuff in a very, very, very simple explanation. So for example, when you want to move your hand like this, it basically happens that a signal is sent from your brain to your muscles that tells your arm or your, the muscles basically to move the hand up and down. And the BCI is able to detect those with very, very advanced sensors will come to now. As I said already, there are, as always, many, 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 many ways how this could be accomplished but the most common way is through EEGs or electroencephalograph. And these can either be placed on top of your head, just like a helmet basically, or a head, or a strap on here for example, or any kind of place on your brain, depends on what you want to measure, or through surgery, so they make a little hole in your scalp, and then connect the sensor directly to your brain. So obviously the second method is much, much more efficient because the signal is much stronger that you can receive just because you are way, way closer to the brain. You don't have a big scalp in the way that um, yeah, just um, makes the signal a lot weaker. But of course it involves surgery, so it depends on um, your personal preference, what you want to do. But um, what I will be talking about in the future as well is actually the, um, yeah, the BCIs without any need of surgery. Other ways could be fMRIs, MEGs or NIRS for example, NIRS. And yeah, they will be out of the scope for this video, but definitely I will just leave a link in the description so you can check them out if you are interested in that. But that's basically it. And I know it's an extremely simplified version of uh, how it actually works of any neuroscientist watching this video. I'm very sorry. But um, just to make a point on um, yeah, how it kind of works. Because um, of course it's um, a new topic, so definitely let me know if you are interested in that and if I should dive deeper into that topic. But now let's see on yeah, why I'm actually making this video right now. Well, there are multiple drivers on why I brought this topic now to this channel as well, mainly because of a very recent interview with um, co-founder of Valve, Gab Newell, on this topic, BCIs and VR. So now it's getting interesting. And also now with companies like Nextmind, there is a yeah, possibility for consumers to experience BCIs firsthand and they also have integrations for VR and stuff like this and again if it's interesting for you then just let me know and I will um, probably get one of those and make more and more and more content of those things to just wrap it up basically and it's not going to be always the same. But back to Valve because they have announced 
that they will be collaborating with OpenBCI to make VR even more immersive. And if you have worn the Valve Index and if you have an upgrade of this device already, you know it's serious. And Gabe also says that we are much closer to the Matrix than we think. I know Kung Fu. Show me. And yeah, that's kind of like scary actually. And um, can open so many new discussions and um, questions basically. And that also means that, yeah, the next device by Valve might actually connect to your brain. Most likely not surgically, but still to make it even more immersive experience. So now the question, how far are we from a full dive like in Sword Art Online for example? And if you haven't watched the anime, it's amazing. Basically, yeah, they have a VR system which um, completely connects to your brain. So you just wear a helmet and you are, yeah, you just lay down and you are fully experiencing this new immersive world where you are basically having all sensors active but you are in reality you're just laying around and you can do anything you want of course in this um, immersive rpg kind of game amazing anime watch it kind of uh, amazing until the second half but that's just personal opinion just go and watch it you will enjoy it so as I said already, having a SAO-like experience would require to yeah, get all the senses. So you will have to see, smell, taste, feel and hear. Damn it, that was on the first try. I'm proud of this. You will need all five senses to work perfectly fine in your immersive environment. And we are actually quite far already with that. Because of course sight, we don't have to talk about and seeing. We have all the displays in there. Where quite well already and um, smelling there are like already those kind of like um, sensometer kind of things that you just put on top of it I have never tried it I would love to try it out and then of course like hearing is kind of obvious just get the valve index and then you are like you know what I'm talking about feeling is actually getting quite far already if you have seen some um, interesting devices that are coming out not for consumer unfortunately but still um, we are on the way already so very 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 interesting products that are coming and then lastly and taste is something that is also evolving so getting the senses is um, not too far but the real challenge is actually connecting this to our brain and then getting all these sensations by signals emitted from the brain computer interface onto our brain and this has to be about 60 times a second at least to not get motion sticks but ideally like a 100 fps and this is something where at the moment at least we are pretty far away so as of now most devices especially the ones without surgery are not bidirectional so you only get the information from the brain to the device but not like writing from the device to our brain so we can only um, read information from the brain but um, with those devices yet we cannot write to them as at least not um, as far as i know or in the consumer market at least however there are more things evolving in the field of surgery bcis so if you may have heard of elon musk with Neuralink, then you know what i'm talking about and yeah this device can actually read and write onto your brain which is amazing Elon Musk describes the Neuralink device like a Fitbit for the brain, which sounds pretty cool. And it has been tested on pigs already. And yeah, I will also link the full um, demo on um, how they detect brain signals from pigs basically. Um, and yeah, output them as um, some noisy sounds in the description below. So feel free to check it out. But still, that is um, quite far from what we need for a full-on immersive um, brain controlled experience. And also I would not really want to, at least in the very, very beginnings, would not to uh, surgically place a chip on my brain and uh, well, who knows what will be the future. Uh, Elon Musk also said it in quite some funny ways. Maybe in the future we'll be able to read and write memories to our brain. We can like change personalities. 
Uh, yes, I think uh, in the future you'll be able to save and re replay memories. Um, I mean, this is obviously sounding increasingly like a Black Mirror episode, um, but uh, well, I guess they're pretty good at predicting. Um, but yeah, essentially, if, if you have a whole RAIN interface, everything that's encoded in memory, you could uh, you could upload. You could basically store your memories um, as a backup and restore the memories. Um, and ultimately, you could potentially download them into a new body or into a robot body. The future is going to be weird. Definitely check out the interview from Gabe Newell. And also, of course, if you're interested, then the demo from Elon Musk and um, Neuralink. They are different things, of course, but still super, super interesting. So to answer the question, I don't think that we are close to anything like Sword Art Online. But, or at least from the um, like neurological side, when you have this brain implanted and you just like lay on the couch and uh, you have your full experience. But what I think what can be very, very interesting is that um, yeah, you just have your regular VR device and this one has already the um, EEG sensors on um, included, which then can read signals and based on the signals can um, enhance your experience. Things like this will definitely be coming. And as Gabe Newell already said, we are much closer to the matrix than we think, which yeah, leads to the end of this video. I really hope you uh, like this kind of topic. If yes, then tell me. If no, then tell me. Definitely super interesting. And I have a lot of plans coming in the future, so feel free to subscribe. And also, if you want to learn from others, not only from me, and if you want to have an amazing community, 10 out of 10, I love you guys, you are amazing. Seriously, like after just a week, we became like uh, over 150 or 200 people already. Join our Discord server, it is amazing. The link will be in the very top. The first link will be Discord. And yeah. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for listening and as always, I see you in the next one.